At a time when unity was in high demand, dividers became a necessary sign of the pandemic, a tool that helped keep some restaurants in business. We wanted to order clear ones and we thought we did. Restaurant tour Jamie Bissonette and his team at Little Donkey in Cambridge bought a set of plastic partitions that arrived in the wrong color. They were like completely black and kind of obnoxious looking. So we thought we need to get somebody to do some art on this. It didn't take long to find the right person for the job. Little Donkey's general manager reached out to local artist Joe Tavares on Instagram. He showed up and painted a sample of his work on the spot, right down the street in Graffiti Alley. They liked them and I asked them when they would want me to come in and do the rest of the dividers and they said, do you have time now? And I was like, all right, sure. And then I just spent eight hours kind of bumping music in the back parking lot, just tackling one by one. And it, it was a lot of fun. Tavares only recently made art his profession. Before he picked up painting, he was traveling the world marketing a personal robot. Uh, you know that saying of, if you had one day left to live, what would you do with your time? Uh, I guess my answer was paint, because as soon as I knew I was going to be quarantined, I went and got art materials, and it was obsession from day one, just painting 18 hours a day. My style is always changing. It's very inspired by hip hop and cubism and neo-expressionism. Here, I kind of see in the nose and an eye here, and just kind of two people coming together, um, really, which for me is what the dining experience is all about. Right off the bat, guests were excited about it. Joe put his Instagram down on the bottom, so people were tagging him in it, and it was like a, it was fun. It was great, it had great energy. People have asked about buying them. From this, the appreciation for his artwork grew. Tavares was also asked to paint the partitions at Uni in the back bay. And around the corner, Sansi hired him to paint the Jersey barriers designating their outdoor dining space. It was cool to randomly get pictures from my friends and from my collectors around the city of just seeing my work around the city. And I think working with the art in such a way that it creates this cohesive, enjoyable experience from an aesthetics level, but also uh, to the taste of the food. I think it needs to be all inter interconnected. That expression of art made beauty out of barriers, connecting people at a time when they were being forced apart, and revealed Tavares' untapped talent. So I'm just very grateful for this opportunity to have done this here because it really spring launched everything. 16 months uh, from the beginning, I'm selling my artwork on Rodeo Drive, so very grateful. Super cool, and most of the little donkey barriers that Joe painted are going to be auctioned off with profits going to Artists for Humanity, a nonprofit providing under-resourced teens with keys to self-sufficiency through jobs in art and design. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shayna Seymour. We hope to see you back here tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.